So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be hooking up this uh, uh, cable line to the battery of my Tesla. Um, gonna hook these up to the 12 volt battery terminal so that I can have a quick connect for a um, battery type tender, uh, either a battery tender or some other type. Um, it's said to use something that's above or at, um, you know, at least four amps or what have you. Um, I have a battery tender, but um, I think it's only rated for like 1.4 amps or something like that. So, um, I mean, it charges a motorcycle 12 volt battery, but they say like with the Tesla that um, it goes into vampire mode and at night it can basically sucks too much energy or draws too much energy for it to even be um, charging enough for 1.4 amps. So anyway, I'm going to put that part on and I'm going to see how it works. And if not, I'm going to order a larger style amp charger that's still made by battery tender. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this trim off, um, the outer trim, the two side panels, and then there's a plastic cover that I'll be removing in order to get to the battery. Um, I'm going to be looking and referencing YouTube. I did see the, the mobile team come out and take these parts off so that they can actually replace the 12 volt battery that had already went bad. And so anyway, I'll show you in the next video. All I had to do is remove the uh, rubber trim that comes right off. Um, and then once that's removed, um, there's like uh, um, two lights that you just have to disconnect inside. Um, so you disconnect the wires and this piece comes out. Um, and then you have the, the tub there. Um, there's a, uh, you have to unscrew. They look like uh, these rubber pieces. You have to unscrew there and there. And then it allows this to loosely lift up enough so you can get the tub out of the way. And then you have the 12 volt battery right here if you have the all wheel drive model. So this side is a positive terminal, this side is a negative terminal. So I'm gonna loosen the screw so that I can put my um, uh, cable on there. All right, so what I did, I went on and um, unscrewed the terminals from these points here and went on and hooked up the uh, cable. It's got a fuse in there and um, I'm just gonna drill a hole through there so I can run this wire through and keep it inside. Back together, I went on and uh, plugged this in to make sure it plugs into my uh, battery tender down there. I'm getting one red light that's indicating that it is charging. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together now. Well, I put the uh, plastic case back in, uh, but before I put it in, I put like a small hole right there so I could run the charger cable through. Um, push the side panels out the way slightly and the rear one. Um, all I'm doing is putting these screws back in, um, the two screws up here, and then there's gonna be um, the two bolts that go on there. In case you were wondering what size, I just got an eight, um, a 13 millimeter socket for the rear and an eight millimeter socket for these two up front. Um, show you. Thirteen and eight, basically. It's not gonna focus. If you guys yet. are wondering, I have a thirteen millimeter socket for the rear, and for the two front, I have a eight millimeter socket. And um, you know, you don't really need. This is all you need right here. And um, I use the drill to make that small hole um, for the battery terminals. Um, can't remember what size socket I use, but. Um, it was either a 12 millimeter, I believe, or a, um, 10 millimeter. Okay, the bolts are tightened. So what all I'm doing is, um, for the side panels, um, they're going to fit inside here, plastic to clips. Place those in. Get them in place, lined up with the hole. Snap that in pretty easy. And I'm take these, just screw those back in. But before I put them back in, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these off. Put those clean, these just screw right back on clockwise, counterclockwise, obviously, to take them off. Um, so, only thing else I have to do is just align the other panels, pop them back in place, and then put the rubber trim back on. So, the plastic panels are covers on the 
left and right are both on and the rear easily snapped back in. It took me like less than three minutes. Now all I have to do is put the um, this cover back in, but I still have my wire out. So I'm just gonna do another similar hole. This will go in place, but for the light and the trunk release, I'm just gonna reconnect the wires that are right here. I'm gonna reconnect those and then this will be ready to go back in place. So I'm about to put the uh, cover back in. I've inserted a small hole right there, which I'm gonna run the wire through. Push it through there. Sit in the trunk like that. Now I just have to put the rubber trim back around after I plug the um, light and trunk release. So I'm plugging the last light wire in. Put this in the correct direction. Trunk release is correct. Light's going to be on. I'm going to turn the car back on and push the button. I'm ready to put the last part on, which is the uh, rubber seal. And um, it's my first time doing it, but um, yeah, I'll get it on and then that'll be the end of it. Okay, seal's back on. Wasn't too bad. Easy, easy peasy. Um, got my cable here. I guess if I'm gonna charge, I'll just uh, run it up, pop this open a little bit and uh, just plug it in. So, but for now, I'm not going on a vacation, so I'll just leave it as is. It's only 1.25 amps. Um, plug it into my bike here, and then I have my car here, so. I figure for right now I'll use it. I'm gonna go ahead today and order a stronger battery tender for the car. Um, as you know, the Tesla, they say something about vampire mode and needing a stronger uh, amperage. So some guys online recommend four amps. Um, so I'll try that. But whenever I'm going on vacation, I'll simply just go ahead and plug in. Set. Go, I'm all set. It's in charge mode. I can uh, go ahead and close this down so if I want. Let it stay plugged in overnight. In the end. So now I have the car plugged in both for the uh, large Tesla battery with a Tesla wall charger and also um, I have a 12 volt battery um, that is plugged into a battery tender. This will actually uh, go ahead and close without damaging uh, anything. And um, I could just have it hanging out there for right now while I'm not, you know, while it's just cars being stored. Um, I have some ramps if I wanna park the car on so the tires aren't getting flat spots. so it doesn't it's not hard cutting anything so there we go um, now I just need to put that back on my bike and then order a new uh, tender for the, the car that's a higher amp all right so here we are I had it plugged on from about four o'clock yesterday evening and it's uh, 10 7 now um, as you can see it went from uh, just the red solid mode to the blinking green mode which means it it is working, it is charging. Um, so, <clears throat> flashing green mode, you have the codes in the back to tell you um, what the different modes are. Uh, green light flashing battery is greater than 80% charge, um, which is good. So, 
Um, if it's a steady green light, then a battery is charged completely. So um, that is a success. Um, it is a 1.25 amp, uh, 12 volt charger. Um, I did order another one um, from uh, Amazon today. That is a um, five amp, so we'll see. Um, I have it plugged in right here. Um, I ordered a few more other type of quick connect parts um, that I could use to either mount it, but I'm not gonna mount it on the front of this um, car or anything, but um, I was thinking about mounting the other part that I'll get um, on the inside. But for now, I'll just simply, you know, throw the cord inside when I'm done. Um, but I was thinking about putting a another mount piece like right here, because they sell a flush mount where you just uh, plug the tab in. So I actually already ordered that. Um, maybe I can put it here. I'll see how it goes. I haven't decided, but okay, thanks. Amazon was a this is an extension cord um, it's not very long but um, I just needed an extension piece um, it's a 5 amp battery tender that should work more sufficient than the other battery tender that I had that was only 1 point uh, something amps but anyway um, on Amazon I got these um, parts right here it came with two so I only need one but I'm going to put this in the compartment instead of having um, the wire hanging out and um, I'll be able to just plug my battery tender in right here and then cap this off when I'm not needed inside that one little trunk cargo area, the front trunk. All right, so what I did was um, I went on and installed that um, connection port piece right here. And um, it comes with uh, the screws and everything. Um, I put it right there versus where I had it coming out at the bottom before or in any corner because this back wall gives a little bit of play. Um, it comes with two uh, two of these, so just close that up when it's not in use. And uh, this looks like this from the back. So no big deal. Just pull these wires away from that. Probably clip these off. They don't really need to be that long, but I could probably put tape around them too, or some kind of piece to uh, uh, some end caps or something or whatever. All right. When it's plugged in and charging, it'll look like this. The wire will hang out. I bought an, uh, like a small extension piece so that, um, you know, I don't have to plug directly in if I if I need it a little bit closer, but I mean, this is close enough. Actually, I don't need to even use the extension piece. So, and then I close this trunk down without damaging the wire. So this way I don't have any loose items in the trunk. I could just unconnect this and plug this piece in, close it off. Um, even though I don't use the trunk for transporting anything. The reason why I decided to um, do this this direction is because this can close out this way. Also, I can remember that this piece goes up and um, I can also see like um, how it goes in like that. So even if it's dark out, I can still do it. Um, so anyway, there you go. So finally you have the, uh, both the chargers hooked up, one for the car and one for the bike. Um, I was sharing this one initially um, when I thought that I was just gonna be um, you know, charging with that um, one point whatever amp battery tender that I normally use for bikes. So I got the five amp one for cars. It's already blinking green. And I finished with the quick connect. I can go ahead and uh, close up uh, now that it's all finished. This will close without crimping the um, cord because it's just a lot of play right there. So we're all set. Best thing, I mean, you know, only thing I remember is not to uh, drive off with that still plugged in. Um, and that's probably one of the reasons why Tesla didn't include that 
in with the uh, car just because some people probably will forget and back up with that still connected to the wall. So I guess if you do it one time, it's self-correcting. So not even uh, five, 10 minutes in, um, the uh, vehicle five amp is already at full charge for the uh, car. And um, the motorcycle is no surprise because that's been on the battery tender for a while. So that one stays at full charge. So um, the reason why I did this because 12, the uh, Tesla comes with a 12 volt battery and um, I didn't know it's a regular 12 volt similar type car battery, but with it having the uh, mirrors that open and close every time you walk up next to it with the key and then the door handles popping out and the uh, other features of the car during the updates at night and so many other features um, that this car um, kind of cuts on with it drains the uh, small 12 volt battery that's located like in this area not the main battery that's charging from the rear but um you know just a regular car battery and that thing only lasts like two to three years so in in, in efforts to try and keep that charged i wanted to do this project to see if it would help cut down on cost and having to replace that um my first one was covered under warranty um I generally don't keep cars longer than um, five years or for, for a long time I haven't, but um, I found myself satisfied with this car. So I'll most likely be keeping it for a little while, maybe. And um, so I don't wanna have to pay for or replace that um, battery. So we'll see how this continues to work.